In his book, Why A Students Work for C Students and B Students Work for the Government, Robert Kiyosaki stresses the importance of financial education once again. He points out that children are not taught about money in school, and it's up to the parents to prepare them for the real world. The book is written for parents who want to give their child a financial head start by studying subjects most students never study. The reader can find analysis on how the economy and the educational industry work and an abundance of tips on how to teach money to children. Please subscribe in order to stay tuned. According to Kiyosaki, Americans today want to be entrepreneurs, but the school system is training kids to be employees. The schools seem to have forgotten about the American dream. They train students to be A students, academics, or B students, bureaucrats. A bureaucrat is someone in a position of authority, a CEO, president, sales manager, government official, etc. They get paid whether they do a good job or not. In the author's opinion, American schools don't train young people to be C students, capitalists. Most A students graduated from the finest schools become managerial capitalists, employees, rather than capitalists. Kiyosaki claims that today we have a global crisis because schools are more focused on greed, not generosity. Schools are all about how much money can I make versus how much money can I make serving others. Schools are about finding a high-paying job rather than creating high-paying jobs. Schools are about climbing the corporate ladder rather than how to create companies and corporate ladders. Schools are about job security rather than financial freedom, which is why most employees live in fear of losing their job. The author emphasizes that schools teach little to nothing about money, which is why millions of people in the U.S. now believe in entitlement programs like Social Security and Medicare and millions take jobs in government or military service not to serve their country but for retirement and medical benefits. The question is, how can a C student beat an A student? And the answer is simple, by studying what A students do not study. Kiyosaki's advice for parents is, turn your home into a place of active learning. Kids learn most by doing. Unfortunately, in schools, they are expected to learn by sitting at a desk, then coming home to sit again and do homework. The author believes that parents are very important. As a child grows up, they become sounding boards, guides, advisors, and role models. Parents interact with their kids every day and, consciously or unconsciously, have a huge impact in shaping their lives. If parents ask themselves at what age to start teaching their child about money, his answer is, the moment they can tell the difference between a $1 bill and a $5 bill. Kiyosaki explains that all children go through three windows of learning. First window, birth to age 12, quantum learning. A child is a learning machine. Parents don't need to encourage them. They learn actively. The brain is relatively smooth. Parents should invest time in games, fun, discussion, and family bonding. It is a great time to teach the child the words of money, the seven basic most important of them being income, expense, assets, liabilities, debt, cash flow, capital gains. If the child is too young for the real-world money problems, you can take them grocery shopping and discuss the budget you have to feed the family. That would be a real education. Second window, age 12 to age 24. Rebellious learning. When a child enters their teens, they learn by rebelling. They want to make up their own minds rather than be told what to learn. They begin to exercise their power to think and choose for themselves. The real challenge is that the child is not yet aware of the consequences. They can develop drug habits, drop out of school, begin their careers in crime, primarily because they don't understand the ramifications of their actions. The child's relationship to their parents during this time is crucial. The author thinks that the most precarious time in an individual's life is during the second window of learning. If a child can get through those years, they have a good chance of doing well in life. During this period of time, parents should encourage exploration and introduce the concept of consequences. Third window, age 24 to age 36. Professional learning. It is where the adult learns to make their way in the world 
and where their special gifts and talents are found. Parents should support decisions and choices. The author recommends using the windows of learning as a guide for age-appropriate topics and exercises for learning. Kiyosaki thinks that starting early is a great head start. He also believes that a child's genius is found in their dreams. Parents should create an environment where children are free to dream and to discuss their dreams. The author points out that successful people are adept at managing their emotions, especially in stressful situations. Many people grow up physically but fail to grow emotionally. They spend their lives doing what they want to do rather than doing what they need to do. He recommends teaching children that their mind, not their money, is what makes them rich. The author claims that the entitlement mentality is prevalent with B students, people who seek security working for government bureaucracies. Parents can fight the entitlement mentality by not giving their kids money and teaching them that money is simply a medium of exchange. The more you give, the more you will receive. When a child is given something for nothing, the seeds of entitlement are planted. Kiyosaki reveals that the financial education that parents take on at home will give their children these 10 unfair advantages in life. The ability to transform their money and their life. The ability to be more generous. To pay lower taxes. To use debt to become richer. To expand their means. To increase their emotional intelligence. To understand the different paths to wealth. To protecting their assets to retire young, to use the law of compensation. Part two of the book is about financial intelligence, the ability to see more than one point of view, to face the world with a lack of prejudice and acceptance of facts. Parents can teach their children to look at taxes from two points of view. Taxes can make some people poor, and they can also make others rich. His advice is to explain to children that the people who pay the highest taxes are people who have a job, people who have only one house, people who save money, people who have 401k retirement plans. It means that the more they earn, the higher their taxes. The government offers tax breaks to employers because the government needs more jobs, debtors because the dollar is now debt real estate investors because the government needs more housing, commodity producers because we need food and oil. Kiyosaki thinks that printing your own money can be taught and encouraged at home too. Once your children learn it, they may never need a job. If they work, it will be because they want to work. The book suggests that the foundations for life are built at home and that home is a child's most important place of learning. It is the parent's job to find ways to keep their children engaged in learning, which can open their children's mind to all that life has to offer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other summaries of Robert Kiyosaki's books. Thank you for watching.